Um, I'm going to go to a presentation that we give to our incoming students about the music program. Um, so it's really more like an orientation. I'm, I'm going to go through it very quickly. I'm not going to you know, explain every slide or anything, but I'll give you just a quick overview of what the program is about. Uh, before I start, uh, my background is uh, I was professor at Berkeley College of Music in Boston for 38 years before I came to UIC one year ago. And I'm the inaugural head of the music department. So our music department is new. Uh, before it was a department, it was a program. So we do have uh, about 100 music majors here and uh, that play different instruments uh, and sing. We have vocalists and we also have minors, maybe a, a more than 100. Uh, UIC is a big university campus, uh, 8,000 students. Probably 1,000 or more of those students are involved in music uh, with our music department in some way, whether it's in performances, ensembles, taking classes, uh, whether they're elective classes or they're doing uh, student um, clubs. We have many clubs and associations uh, for music, all different styles from choir and uh, we have uh, uh, Chinese traditional music. Uh, we have uh, rock and jazz and pop and musical theater. And of course, uh, uh, classical music and classical singing. Uh, so while it's a new program, um, you know, we developed it very quickly and we have some very good resources here for students to do music, even if they're not music majors, uh, there's still a lot of music here. We have an orchestra, uh, so there's a lot of things that students do to be involved. Um, so what I'll do today is just very quickly go through uh, this um, presentation, which gives you an overview of the pro program and the kind of careers that students are preparing for and what the curriculum and the faculty look like, and uh, and then uh, a little bit more about the vision of the program. So we founded in 2020. Um, so it's uh, we're part of now it's the School of Culture and Creativity, which is hosting this presentation uh, along with uh, the International Development Office. So thank you to our hosts. I appreciate the opportunity to, to uh, talk about our program. Um, so, uh, you know, we are liberal arts style program. Bachelor, we offer a Bachelor of Arts in Music Performance uh, in conjunction with Hong Kong Baptist University and with Beijing Normal University here in China. So it's a joint venture. I'm sure you, you may know a little bit already about this. Uh, and it's all uh, taught in English. Almost all of it is in English. So uh, we welcome international students here. Uh, and we have, a, uh, you know, hope to recruit many of you to come and be part of our program. Uh, and study. It's a unique opportunity, I think, to study inside of China, to be immersed in Chinese culture, uh, and to be immersed in the Chinese language, learning Mandarin and also Cantonese. Uh, we're very close to Hong Kong. We're very close to Macau. Uh, so there is a very good-sized international community here, uh, and we hope that you will join us and be part of that community as a musical community. So uh, I already mentioned some of this. Um, you know, we teach in English. Um, uh, and and so it's very um, interchangeable, I think, with some of the programs that are uh, around the world who are taught in English in other countries where musicians study. Um, so we have an international faculty uh, of our total. We have 28 faculty members. Uh, about one third of them are Chinese from the mainland. Uh, and about one third is from Hong Kong, Macau or Taiwan. And then the other third is from uh, Western countries like America, we have somebody from Spain, from Canada, we have two people from America, including myself. Uh, and, and so it's an international faculty. They've all been trained outside of China. Some of them have also been trained inside of China, but uh, all of our faculty have advanced degrees, uh, masters or above, many have doctorates, and they've taught uh, and they've worked and studied in foreign countries as well. So for students who want to go on to postgraduate study after UIC, uh, those faculty can be very helpful to you in planning your career and helping you to apply to graduate school. Uh, right now we are only undergraduate, uh, but we do plan to offer some graduate programs in the future. Um, this is me. Um, I told you a little bit about myself already. Um, you know, I've been a musician my whole life. I've been playing guitar actually more than 50 years. Uh, I played electric bass. Uh, I play all styles of music. Um, I'm not classically trained, but I attended conservatory and I, and of course studied music, uh, but my, my field is more in modern contemporary music 
uh, music performance, writing, production, and music business. Um, I've written a book about music industry, which we use in, as a textbook, many schools use. And my next book is coming out is on the concert industry. Um, so these are just some of the faculty we have. Uh, uh, I'm not going to introduce all of them. I'll go very quickly. Maybe this is available on our website as well. Uh, but uh, uh, for example, Professor Wang uh, teaches uh, musical theater. She's a voice teacher. Um, we have violin, uh, uh, we have viola, uh, the composition. Uh, we have quite a lot of piano because we have a lot of piano students. Um, voice. So these are just some of the faculty and you can go and visit our website uh, because I'm not going to introduce them all here. I'm just going to go quickly through. Uh, some of them have, uh, you know, like uh, Yamaha artist, Steinway artist. Um, we have a, a mix of assistant professor, associate professor, uh, professor, myself is uh, the professor. And we have lecturers also. Some of them teach part-time. So if they're teaching uh, an instrument, for example. So um, we have some instructors who support us. Uh, so I'm going to keep going quickly because I know time is limited. I want to leave time for the others. Uh, we think a lot about the career pathway. This is my book. Um, and in my book, I identified more than 75 careers that musicians have. So these are just some of them. This is what we're preparing you to do when you leave here. Uh, of course, some of these uh, positions, these roles, these jobs require uh, additional training or experience. Uh, but many of these would be available to you uh, as a graduate, especially if you have very strong music skills. So, you know, people say performer, they just think of an orchestra, but actually there's a lot of other things performers do, session musician, accompanist, uh, Broadway, uh, uh, you know, recording artists and so forth, soloist. Um, so then there's writers. So there's people who compose or write songs uh, and they are conductors people who deal with written music. And uh, actually there's a, a lot of money in this because it's intellectual property. So uh, the songwriters actually make more money than anybody else in the music business, uh, especially if they have successful songs in the market. Um, we have music business careers. Uh, and a lot of this is in our brochure, but it's not quite as thorough as this. Um, we have education. So people think of teachers. There's actually many jobs in education. Uh, besides just you know teaching school or teaching being a professor, there's other types of jobs. Uh, you know, being a, a band director, ensemble coach, vocal coach, uh, artists and residents, and so forth, and administration. Also, uh, there's a big demand for these these jobs for musicians right now with people with the right training. Um, here you have music technology uh, is also an area that we focus on. Um, so these are some career areas in music technology that people would, would be interested in. And then there's other types of careers, people that work in the uh, hospitality industry or cultural management or work in publishing or uh, instrument repair. Um, so actually there's a lot of jobs. People say, what do you do when you're a musician, when you graduate? And you, if you go to school and get a good education, you have many opportunities to work and many different types of jobs. And it's very common for people to do more than one. So you might be a writer and also a performer and also a teacher, very common. So in my book and in this presentation, this is uh, I'm just giving you a little bit of information about what comes after school. Now, the curriculum, um, I'm not going to go too much into this because it gets a little technical. But what you should know is that out of 150 classes or units in classes, uh, you would be taking one third in music. So you take courses in general education and sciences and math and history and, and English and so forth, uh, or foreign languages. You could learn French or you could learn German too. Uh, many musicians need those languages if they're singers, for example. Um, so we have electives and we have core courses and so forth. Most classes are three credits or units. Some are two and some are one. So there's a, a, quite a, a variety of different classes. Um, you have the classes that are, you know, related to your music. You have cl classes that are, uh, so these are all music classes, private lessons and so forth, ensembles, orchestra, I already mentioned these. Um, so you have music theory, you have core classes in history, uh, and then you have also harmony, and you have other subjects that are music education um, that, that are related to music. 
uh, and plus electives, of course. So we have electives in you know, film music or in music technology, uh, keyboards, playing piano. If you're, not a, if you're not a piano player, you can still study how to learn keyboard. Um, and then of course the university has uh, their core classes, uh, which I already mentioned, um, general education, English enhancement. Um, so the facilities, uh, you know, we have a building and several buildings with studios. Uh, we're working on improving them. Uh, some of them have good acoustical treatments. Others still need a little bit of, of work. We're analyzing this as we're going and our plan is to actually build a new building that's purpose built. But you're seeing pictures here, music classrooms, facilities. We have a recording studio. Uh, we have uh, practice rooms, of course. Um, this is the recording studio. We had a class there today with a guest artist uh, doing, um, doing some music technology. Um, there's a recital, performance theater, and a university hall. Um, and of course, we have a lot of student activities and performances. I mentioned those as well. Um, so I'm going to wrap it up now quickly, uh, just some quick performance opportunities that exist here. And actually, I mentioned most of these in the beginning. Um, we have the orchestra, choir, and uh, we have some other ensembles. We have traditional Chinese music. Um, so thank you. Um, I'll take any questions you has, have as we go. I'm going to stop sharing my screen now. Uh, let me do this.